Hello, welcome to Ollie's Workshop. Um, this is my entry for the Toolfest 2021 uh, competition. Um, it didn't go terribly well, um, and I've run out of time, so it's going to be a very short video. Um, now, my problem that I wanted to solve was um, rotary tables. Uh, when you're using a small mill like this one, there's generally not a lot of height between the rotary table and the uh, the spindle um, so depending on the height of your work and the length of your tool say you've got a drill bit or something you want to do some holes in a, a pattern using the rotary table um, sometimes you just can't do it because there just isn't enough height even with the uh, the column right at the top so I decided to make a very slim rotary table now this one is about 15 millimeters high 12 12 millimeters high half an inch um, and as you can see, uh, it doesn't look quite right. Let me show you what it should look like. It should look like that. I somehow managed, managed to make it left-handed um, and screwed up a bunch of other stuff. Um, so it's not exactly demonstrable as it is, um, but I can um, persuade it to go around with the um, the drill so that it you can actually see something happening. Just stay, stand by. So it does work. Obviously needs some refinement, um, but it's a proof of concept. Um, uh, idea would be that there'd be some threaded holes in here for mounting stuff. Um, probably not enough meat to do T slots um, and then potentially you'd add a, a, a slightly larger sub table to make it more useful um, potentially not even a round one it could be a, a rectangular one um, to make the most of the space on the mill I produced a bunch of drawings um, which actually made the whole process relatively straightforward although I managed to screw one or two bits up which obviously um, meant that it's not quite how I intended it to be but I will do a making of video um, when I um, have a bit of time to edit it um, it's now Tuesday night Toolfest is Wednesday so um, I'll be just releasing the short one uh, for the Toolfest and then if you want to see how I made it and how I'm going to improve it um, subscribe that'd be great and uh, thanks for watching